Hello everyone, good morning. I'm in my pumping bra because I'm gonna do a bikini tran haul. We got two bikini tops to try on here, lovey. You're trying on bikini tops? Yeah! On camera? On camera, on candid camera! <laughs> I'm falling. Is this your OnlyFans? This, this is my OnlyFans. I'm starting an OnlyFans, guys. Ah! So I only have the bikini tops, I don't have the bottoms. I like it. All right, this first one. I don't like it at all. Eric likes it. It like flattens my boobs. I know, in a flattering way. It's a like... flattering way? Yeah! Oh! I don't like this one at all. I, I love it. it. This one's worse. Look, like, it has a stain on it. It has a stain yeah, on it. Like Boo! Two busts. Yeah, the other one's better, but this one's like, it's too big on The other one's great, but I don't understand why you don't like it. This is awful. I don't like either one, but it's okay. I'll go with the first one because I don't have a choice. <laughs> Bye. Well, we did it. We made it to the beach. There's Eric and Flynn way over there. And I'm on land with the babies. Wow, trying to take babies to the toddler to the beach. Not easy. Not easy at all. Here's little Mr. Wes. Hi, Westy Coy. And here's little Miss Nancy over here. Enjoying a little wooden ring. You want me to pick you up? Is that what you want? You just want me to talk to you? Okay. Good oh boy. This is hectic. Hectic. It's hectic. But this is our setup, I'll show you. So we've got two chairs over there with umbrellas. Maisie's chilling out. We have a little tent, some towels, a Wesley, and another umbrella. They are lathered in pounds and pounds and pounds of baby sunscreen and enjoying the sand. And it's hot, but Flynn is stoked to be here, so it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna have them feel the water and see what they think. The first time touching the ocean, Maisie <laughs> Joe. It's your first time, Flynn. Hey, Maisie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Woo! What's that feel like, Maisie? time to film anything. Wesley got soaking wet, so his outfit is now off. Maisie got hungry, Wesley got hungry. We played in the sand, we played in the water. Flynn is losing his mind having so much fun. But I think the babies are getting over it. It's like nap time, so I'm trying to decide if I should try to give them a nap on the beach or take them home to have a nap in a bed or in their cribs. What should we do? What should we do? I don't know what to do. Should we go home? Should we stay here? You wanna go home? Okay. This is hectic, this is hard. This is hectic. Flynn is having fun and that's all that matters. I mean, it matters that the babies are having fun too and they did for a little bit, but now they're over it. The beach is much different when you're a mom. It's not like it was before I was a mom. Yeah, very different. Oh my God, look what I did. Maisie was cold, so I had to bundle her up, but don't worry, I'm, we're not leaving her side. Like, I'm literally watching her like a hawk, but she was too cold to sleep, so I bundled her up and now she's passed out. Look. Cute. What you got in your hands, Flinny? A sand crab. A sand crab. Who caught that for you? Mommy. Mama. I am an expert sand crab catcher. Have you ever held a sand crab before? No. You want to see it? Yeah. It's right in here. Hold on. Let's see if we can get him to move around a little bit. He's really tiny. You see him? Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? 
We got to my parents' house from the beach. We were there for so long. Twins took a nap. Flynn had so much fun. We caught sand crabs, made a sandcastle, played in the ocean. So fun, we're all totally pooped. Speaking of poop, my mom is making me put these on. She has baby chicks and I'm gonna meet them, but if I am barefoot, I will step in a lot of poop. So my mom has chickens. She loves chickens. And they basically have taken over, like they get like the whole yard. Look at these princesses. They have this like, swing and they have this Corey whole yard swing. coop. Like all this wonderful space. Okay, so in here, used to be Bubba's dog house, is now the chicken house, the little chick house. Oh, little chickies! Well, they're not so little anymore. They're still little. Hi, babies. Hi, little babies. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Are they all different ages? Two are older than the others, yeah. They're so cute, oh my gosh. Little babies, so cute. <laughs> My mom loves her chickens. By the way, if at any point in the vlog today I have like boogers all underneath and around my nose, it's not. It's, there's my brother Trent. Hi Trent. It's um, <laughs> not boogers, it's dry skin. My nose is like super chapped. I had an allergy attack like you would never believe two days ago. It was like, I went through like four boxes of tissues. It was horrible. So now my nose is chapped. And so it just looks like I have constant boogers hanging out of my nose, but they're not boogers, it's dry skin. I mean, maybe there's boogers too, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's all dry skin. My hair was straight by the way this morning and now it's all curled from the humidity of the beach. Clearly I need a pump and they're gonna have to do the podcast tonight so that's what we're working on next. And playing with the baby some more. That's the day. We had it, we did a successful first family beach day. I'm so proud of us. I did not think we'd be able to pull that off and we did somehow, so that's exciting. All right, we have showered. Eric took a shower in the backyard. Apparently there's an outdoor shower here which I'm not interested in that but apparently Eric really likes an outdoor shower. It's like a very exciting thing for him. So I showered inside while he showered outside. And now we're gonna go record the podcast on the beach. We're gonna try, hopefully it works, and then get some dinner. That's the plan, so we'll see you guys a little bit later. All right, Eric and I are at the beach, ah. trying to figure out how to set up a podcast so that you can hear us um, with a pretty view. I don't know if it's gonna happen, we're gonna try. March, March, March later. Eric and I did the podcast, but it was like very scary. So we went to the beach and we tried to set up and it suddenly got like super, super, super windy. And there was wind like blowing tons of sand into our face and in our eyes. And we were filming by like a cliff, like a tall seaside, like sand cliff, dirt cliff. And every time a gust of wind happened, it would like pieces of like, pieces of, like shale, rock. rock were crumbling from this cliff. And Eric was like, is that gonna hit us? I was like, no, that's crazy. That's not gonna happen. And then it did, like rocks started falling, not like big rocks, but like rocks, like parts of the cliff were like being blown off the cliff onto us. So if you listen to the podcast next week, you will hear a big portion of it. It's just me screaming because like our camera got knocked over by a rock, the camera fell into the sand and then I'm screaming because rocks are hitting me. Eric's like shielding me. <laughs> it was crazy. So then we just finished the podcast here and then we went to go get dinner by the Harbor and it was very nice. And now it's like 11 PM and we're gonna shower and go to bed. But first Eric has asked if he can read me some of the wall art. I'm just gonna read you all of the wall art in this Airbnb. Okay. It's it kind of beachy, but so first we'll go to this. So exactly. it's a picture of a wave and it says, wish you were here. Wish you were here? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was gonna be more profound than that. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Oh, by the way, that one that says pray for surf, every time I see it, I think it says pray for sure. Like pray for sure. I see, I've been seeing it, I've been saying pray for smurf. It's fine that we have like different Smurf. things. Smurf? It's just me, I'm like, pray for sure, because it looks like it's, it looks like an E is just missing the bottom of the E. Oh yeah, no, pray for pray, sure. Dude. Pray, pray for, for sure, sure. pray yeah. for sure. Um, the cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. What? That's not a good quote. Well, you should talk to Isaac. The Isaac. cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea, not and the sea, or, so any one of those things could cure something? Salt, well, salt water, salt water sweat, is kind tears. of the sea. It's a bit confusing, yeah. but I get it. He's like, he's kind of saying like, cry about it, sweat up, sweat about it? Sweat it out, cry it out, jump in the ocean. I, that's kind of okay. You look really tall right now. Um, I read this one yesterday. This one is kind of interesting. Good things are coming, 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 good things are coming
like a like a say it to yourself over and over again as like you do yoga or something. Is there any more? I think that's yeah, all. Good, the there's a good one in here. It says, <laughs> uh, "Stupid." This is a good quote. When showering, please turn on the fan and crack the window to help with ventilation. Thank you. Why are you so tall today? It's you look so tall. Um, what are you talking about? I don't know why Eric seems so tall today. I like, know I'm taller than you, right? I know. Well, here's the funny thing. You know I'm six foot one, six foot two on a good day. You're not. You're six foot two every day. You're not six foot one. Um, but Eric says I'm tall. This has always been mind blowing to I me. I guess that's it. Like you think I'm tall, right? I think you're a tall girl, yeah. Isn't that weird? I'll tell you. Five six. I was thinking you was five nine, five ten. <laughs> what? I don't know. Are you serious? You me, yeah. Maybe it's because you're so lanky and your torso is so short. <laughs> like, let me show your, your torso. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I, body no, I, my torso? no, I married you. I have children with you. Like, I love you and your body. Like, I'm, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just, but you're like. I do you have a short torso, you know, I know. You have a short torso. Well, I'm wearing high-waisted pants too. It makes it look even shorter. Well, exactly. That's why I thought it'd be funny to show it now. Anyway, um, I'm 5'6", and my whole family is taller than me. Like, my brothers are 6'4", my dad's 6'4", my sister is almost 6 foot, my mom is, I think, my height. But my mom and I were always the short ones in my family. And so I met Eric, and he was like, you're so tall. And I was like, what? I'm pretty sure 5'6 is average, not tall you're or not short. You're not 5'6". I am 5'6", I don't know what to tell you. It's a fact. I'm in their garage for a tape measure. You're I am, not 5'6". I am, I'm 5'6", I swear. I am exactly 5'6". Oh my god, he found a tape measure. In our Airbnb. <laughs> and we <laughs> opened a single drawer. Okay, yeah. set it up. Hold on, let's see if I can set up this camera so that you guys can watch this happen. This to me is more dangerous than a saw. Yeah, no, do your... Is it really that hard to... I think you're five, seven and a half. I'm not five, seven and a half. Yeah, I think you're five, five, seven. I'm not five, seven, love. I'm five, six. I'm not five, seven. I think you're five, seven. I'm not. I'm five, six. Five, four feet. What are you doing? What are you... you... Didn't you just look at it? Here, hold on. What if we did this? What if we like put something on the wall to like? Here, stand up. This is how tall. This I is what we're gonna. This is how tall I think you are. No, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put something on the wall for my head, and then we'll measure that. You know what I mean? Okay. So like, but we need something that can come off because it's an Airbnb. We're not gonna do anything to damage the walls, obviously. What do you mean? A piece of ketchup. Ketchup. Yeah, like something like that. Like something that we can just wipe off in like two seconds. Oh gosh! Don't get any ketchup in my hair, please. Does ketchup stain? We're not gonna do anything wrong, right? Put it on your fingertip and then like. Put your Relax. Gotta take out. Oh, okay. Spoon. Wait, no. Spoons can be curved. This side. Put a little bit on the spoon and then. Put... <laughs> like yeah, but on the spoon. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. And then put it on the wall. Okay, oh, that's so got a little, little dot of ketchup. Okay, so now, that's how tall I am, that's kind of tall. Boy, pull that up. So how do you know where that's it is? That's five feet, that's five feet. Five feet. Five foot one, five foot two, five foot three, five foot Wait, where are you four, seeing this? five foot five, five foot six. Whoa, oh, I'm five, no. six and a half. Five foot six and a half. You're a tall girl. That's actually, I didn't know, I thought I was exactly five six, I'm five foot six and a half. Do you have good posture where you like straightened up? Yeah, I straightened up. Five foot six and a half. That looks so tall to me. Let's do me now. Okay, let's, we're gonna do, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're gonna do Eric now. Gotta get my ketchup spoon. Yeah, I actually don't know how tall you are because you always say different things. Oh, that was a big glob. <laughs> so here's Eric's glob, and here's my glob, in case you can't see, but that's our height difference. Oh, I think I'm 6'1". No, you're six, you're six, almost 6'2". Six Wait, is it against the floor? Yes. It's six foot one and a half, almost 6'2". That, six lines, two and that lines up. I thought you were 6'2". You thought I was 5'7". So we both thought we were an inch taller than we are, and that explains why we thought the other was... Six one and a half is kind of the perfect height, I feel. It's perfect, lovey. So anyway, you learn something new every day, and I just learned that I'm five, six and a half, I guess, apparently. Anyway, we're gonna go to bed, but... Um, we're gonna get this ketchup. Okay, we gotta wipe the ketchup off the wall. We gotta clean up our stuff in the Airbnb, and we're gonna go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary, and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.